This presentation will address school safety. In preparation to keep our schools safe, we have different ways to secure our building and classrooms. In the past, we have used the terms soft lockdown and hard lockdown to indicate different degrees of danger. In the event there is an active threat outside of the building, or we need to investigate something inside of the building, you will continue to hear the phrase soft lockdown being used. Again, soft lockdown means there is not an active intruder in our building. Up until today, we have used the phrase hard lockdown to communicate there is an active threat or intruder in the building. This phrase will no longer be used in our buildings because the district is now adopting ALICE protocols in the event of an active intruder. You will hear the acronym ALICE over the PA system. The video we will watch at the end of this presentation will describe the options we are all empowered to use if there was ever an active intruder in our building. Tomorrow we will practice in one of the ALICE options, barricading. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. Today we will focus on the Evacuate and Lockdown portion of ALICE. When using ALICE strategies, evacuation is your best option to use if it is safe to do so. Evacuation allows you to put time and distance between you and the active intruder. Only use evacuation when you have information about where the intruder is. Use your senses of vision, hearing, and smell to gather information to determine if evacuation is your best option. Escaping from windows could also be an option depending on where you are in the building. Examples of escaping from a window are opening the window and climbing out, if the window needs to be broken, use a strong, pointed object to hit the window at the top right corner. Windows have less flex at the corners than the middle. After the window is broken, use something to clean away the glass. If evacuating from the second floor, survey the landing zone. Organic material such as grass or mulch is the best to land upon. Use a belt, cord, clothing, or hang from the open window to decrease the distance of the drop. Bending the knees and rolling may help decrease the risk of injury. We will now discuss the lockdown portion of ALICE. We are moving away from our traditional lockdown procedures. Instead, we have an enhanced lockdown. With an enhanced lockdown, we are doing more than just locking our classroom doors. We are creating a barrier between you and the active intruder. The goal of barricading is to create time. Armed intruders want to harm as many people as they can in the shortest amount of time possible. By creating a barrier inside your classroom, it increases your time to keep yourself safe. If you cannot lock your door, make sure you're ready to secure it with something else, such as a belt, cord, zip tie, or fire hose. All emergency buckets in your classrooms are equipped with a fire hose. Most of our classroom doors swing out. You will need to try to secure it with items in the classroom. Use chairs or other large furniture to block the entrance of the classroom in order to create a barrier between you and the intruder. Tie a power strip or other cords around the door handle to tie down or secure the door yourself. If the door swings in, use heavy furniture to create a barrier between you and the intruder. A doorstop can be used as a wedge to secure the door from being opened. In an enhanced lockdown situation, you will be in your classrooms for an extended period of time. Emergency buckets are in every classroom to assist in this situation. For our students to have practical experiences with the barricade portion of the enhanced lockdown in ALICE, we have a student simulation to help model what a barricading situation could look like. Let's talk about what ALICE means in our school. To notify the school of an active intruder, we will hear an announcement alerting an ALICE emergency. The first thing we want to do is make sure the door to our classrooms or spaces are locked. If the door has a louver at the top, someone in your classroom can slide a piece of fire hose over the louver to help with securing the door. The next step would be to get any and every piece of furniture you can use. Desks, 
tables, whatever you have available in the classroom to barricade and stack in front of the door or the entryway to the classroom. Creating a barricade is a delaying effect to prevent the active intruder from entering a classroom. Please be mindful of your classroom setup. If there are windows near the door, as in most of the classrooms, can you cover them quickly? Once you have the entryway barricaded to the classroom, you need to move out of view from the window and the door. Your teachers will now share more information with you about the barricading portion of the ALICE protocols and how we can practice to keep each other safe in our classrooms.